I'm now with Rob Cole on the Equip Classic Racing Stand. Good morning, Rob, and welcome to Race Retro 2020. Thank you. Uh, it's good to be here. It's our fifth year here now, so it looks like it's going to be a good show, so thank you. And can we talk a little bit about this uh, Cooper Bristol, please? Yeah. The specification, what have you? Yeah, it's, um, it's a 1952 car, and um, it's the Mike Hawthorne car. Um, he raced it, uh, I think, about 14 or 15 races. Um, and it's about 90% original, so it's you know you see it, you feel it, and there's a bit of history sitting there. So uh, very good. And we we had the sister car that races with us as well, which is the Fangio car. So we're blessed to have you know some wonderful cars racing in our new 50 series. So yeah. And this is this is to commemorate this series, isn't it? It is. Yeah, we're launching a new series this year, which is the Equip 50s, and um, we felt it was a natural extension from our brand of GTS and Pre 63. Um, and if you can look across our stands, you know, we've got some wonderful cars that have come out and it's designed for sports racers of nine, up to two litre and production sports cars of up to that period of 1959. So, so what about entries? Are you having good uh, people, people wanting to get into the series? Yeah, it, it, we're, uh, with the Coupe GTS, we've, we're, we're blessed with four grids everywhere we go and we filled every grid last year that we did. Uh, Pre-63 in its second year, we averaged about 28 on the grid, so we, you know, we do you know, some very good, well-supported races, and we feel that the 50s is a natural extension of that. Um, so what we believe this year is if we can get it to you know, early 20s, 25 in a grid, that will be a, a nice starter from us. And from the way it's looking at the minute for our first race at Silverstone, it's looking you know, very positive. So to get to that. And what date is that? Uh, that's on the 27th of March on the Silverstone International Circuit, so uh, not long to go. Um, so we hope there'll be a little bit of a flurry before, because people are still prepping their cars and getting ready for the series, you know, so. And how many rounds have you got in the series? Uh, we have eight, uh, and we, we go to Silverstone International, Brands Indy, uh, Brands GP, we're going to Spa, uh, we're doing uh, Silverstone GP, Donington, with our three-hour relay race. Uh, we go Snesson 300 and then we finish at Silverstone at the National Circuit. So we get about a bit, yeah. yeah. So have it, has there been a lot of interest shown during the start of the show? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, we've, you know, it's now, I'm not sure what the time is, but I feel like I've been here five minutes and haven't stopped speaking to people. So, um, you know, it's interesting because we've got some different cars in our stand. You know, the Volvo in the Pre-63 is probably the only Volvo that's uh, out as a racing car. Uh, there's a couple of rally cars, but we don't know any circuit racing cars. The MGA um, is just ready for our 50 series, and as is the, uh, the Cooper Bristol, you know, so. So it's all go then? It seems that way, yeah. Um, I mean, we've got three days here. Uh, we was here yesterday setting up, um, but it's always a really good show. Um, in the previous years, we did um, the London car show at the XL, uh, but it wasn't really the right demographic for us. This is a real focused event, and we really enjoy it, you know, so. And that's why we support it in the way we do. Yeah, certainly suited for your event, isn't it? A hundred percent, yeah. I mean, especially the Friday. The Friday is, is really driver-focused. Um, uh, but it's nice to see the public come in on a Saturday and Sunday. We love the rally stages outside. You know, that's always good fun. Yeah. Um, and there's always some interesting bits and pieces going on. And I think that's the, the dynamic, good dynamic of the show, you know, so. Well, I hope it all goes well, the rest of the show, and you have a good year, and the, the series takes off. And thank you for the interview. No, you're welcome. And fingers crossed this time next year we're telling you we've had full grids. So, thank you. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.